Better in RAM! It's one yielding spirit. <laughs>
normally they want to remove hers and then if you bank two spell mana on three on mana th or on round three you want to attack with her she gets maybe a mystic shot then you get sharp set on her then she survives it uh, with two health and you strike as a five two um, with quick attack obviously she doesn't die and then directly level up we have a one-off of grand plaza um i ended up only having it as a one-off because you need some utility here uh, as we have it granting challenger or giving challenger the round we summon the units like we can use this with Kalarina. if we have the grand plaza on board we can every time we play Kalarina, we can challenge something and with a quick attack she won't get any harm and also she gets recalled upon strike right so she they never will strike her back and then you can pump up the attack by one also a leveled up katarina will get the plus one attack and go up to five attack with the grand plaza as it uh, gives also the plus one attack and the challenger the grizzled ranger is a yeah classic scout edition um like with the cataclysm if you don't find the battering ram and you want to or have to use the cataclysm early on you can use it on, on scouts in the enemy rounds and then trigger another rally effect this is uh, something some people still don't know so i'm saying it here if you cast it on scouts you will get uh, be will have another rally if you get it on scouts because the scouts has for the first time only scout units attack each round ready your attack which means uh, only this scout attacks with the cataclysm maybe and then you start your attack uh same goes for great home companion this is the reason why we include this uh first it gets gets us the reputation right we we can even attack two times so the reputation um will have an easy time going off as we need four five attack strikes um also the quinn can have uh, the attack doubled up by, by or fed up by two by sharp set and brothers bond again reputation uh synergy and also the quinn level up is you have to attack four times which will be uh, done by multiple attacks from katarina as she rallies um also like the cataclysm like i mentioned will have a free attack leveling up the quinn so there are a lot of neat synergies here in this deck and obviously if you attack with scouts this also counts as another attack so it's really easy or it's easier than other decks to level the quinn up and then we have a two-off of the Generative Elmhard, which is another scout of choice. It will pump up all of our board by plus one, plus one. And yeah, it's our sixth drop of choice instead of maybe Sithria the Bolt, which also gives us plus one, plus one Fearsome. But she has now a uh, scout. And I think this is really important in this deck where you want to have Cataclysm and also level up our Queen. Now, you might say this is a very fragile deck, and you're right. <laughs> and that's the main reason why it's not any top tier list. Um, it's It lacks blockers, and it lacks um, yeah having a big board going on. So they will probably remove our units. We have to take bad trades at times. And that's why we have also the Whispered Words to refuel, because we can run off of steam. And I include Unyielding Spirit as this is one of my favorite cards nobody plays around i include this in almost every demacia deck i have as i think it's really underplayed and really strong and can auto win certain matchups and if we put it on the battering ram for example this can be devastating if they have no way to remove it because every attack it will pump up itself um and go beyond levels and the last uh, thing i want to talk about is the yeah the whole twist with the reputation why we want the reputation so badly is the black rose spy which is a, a two drop with a three two body with the vanilla and fearsome block body which is already really solid so if you are facing aggro and have hard time surviving you can play her on turn two but normally you don't want it as it can be the card we are playing around the, the whole time we are building around the battering ram and if we strike with the battering ram at like the last strike strike um you get with her another battering ram but keep in mind uh, i want to clear make that clear for you as i experienced it or ex experimenting with it if you strike with something and it dies then you will get of a 0 12 so um starting battering ram so you won't get off the granted attack that it has as it says, you get an exact copy of the strongest ally that struck this round. Now, if you survive with the strike, you will get the battering ram with the, the like the one that survived and struck last. 
But the problem with that is that you also take the HP. So if the battering ram is maybe an 8-3 at that point, because it took nine damage and it take two times, it will convert into another 8-3. Now, what's really neat about this, it goes as an exact copy. So if we have unyielding spirit on our battering ram, we can even duplicate unyielding spirit battering rams with the Black Rose Spy. This is a possibility with this deck. Like I said, more of on the meme side of decks, but I think there are a lot of real neat synergies that are definitely fun to play. So I wanted to share this list as I, yeah, like I mentioned, I included Mimic, so I will save the progress here. And uh, yeah, but for the time being, we will jump into the too long didn't watch. So this is a deck completely built around the battering ram. As a special synergy card, we have the Cataclysm to challenge something and attack with the battering ram even more. We have Katarina for leveled up version and rally all the time, all the way we can. We have another like classic rally spell. Also, we want to level up the Quinn as we need four attacks with her, which can be easier with the Cataclysm and also with the scout units like the Grizzled Ranger and the Great Horn Companion. As we have uh, a yeah, late game scout unit and also an unhealing spirit as a late game finisher and probably preserving our very big battering ram with a normal uh yeah demacia starting of fleet of Hell tracker and bright spirit protector and that's the whole deck idea behind this uh, and and you want the reputation obviously going for the black rose spy into doubling up a battering ram as this is the card we are playing with and as usually we'll dive into the games together like you see i ended up being almost 200 points and i don't want to butcher that as i was playing with the deck i will uh, i showcased it already and on this uh, channel but i want to show it again with a climbing aspect as uh, and because of that i won't play ranked with that sort of meme deck i will um, go with the normal mode and see how we are doing Oh, that's, that's a really wild list. Mauka, Callista, Hecarim, an Ionia deck. So yeah, there's a lot of familiar synergy with Ionia, right? Uh, I want to mulligan evade these two. It's a bit too expensive, and also the Mimic. It's nothing we want early in the game, as we only find spells. And another Gen Weave. At least we have a turn one play. Huh. Yeah, I think I want to develop this, even though I only get the value off for the barrier, and you won't develop here. I get the 5 damage in, and this is better than just open attacking. Okay, well, it just does that. But like I said, having the 5 damage is uh, really important in the early game, applying pressure. As we have the means to protect the protector with the sharp side. And pump up her attack to get our first proc from the reputation. But I did mention in the deck tech, this is also a reputation uh, with a 5 attack. It's also something I was considering. Ooh. This is ugly. Um, yeah, what we're doing is we will phantom block this and do this. So he doesn't get off the, the hit with the scourge here. We lose our tracker, but we prevent 8 damage there and the 8 life gain, uh, the, the 5 life gain from him. It's really important as... Uh, I think I'm gonna do 3 more damage here. We don't have any other plays. If we see a big threat, we could Cataclysm or Sharp Set into Cataclysm rather. But we really need to find other units here. Already low on gas. Okay, I think I have to do this. Now. This is now sort of a worse single combat, unfortunately. And we have to use the Cataclysm early, but I, don't, I can't allow him to get value off for the Maokai. As he already has a shark that will come back every tur turn. And he could challenge my only unit I have. As we also get a proc for 
reputation, like I said. Um, yeah, passing. No need to show our cards as of now. That's really not cool. But for now, we, we preserved a lot of health, like we're still on 20. I don't really mind going down to 13 here. So I will just let that through. Save our resources. As we now can go into Genoveve into both of these spells. For our next attack. Hmm. That's very unlucky. But what we can do is get getting the Gen or the Rangers resolve on our Genevieve. And then challenge it anyway. Ooh. This is tough now. Because I really, really want that Quinn level up. I'm gonna going for Quinn here. She's sort of another star of this video, right? So I may as well giving her some uh yeah, fame. That's um rather perfect. Um still heart steady aim. with this. Uh, do I really want that? I think I want to preserve the Ranger's result for a moment. As we will remove those two anyway, so this would be a bit of a waste. We get him down to four. I think yeah, he doesn't have Harrowing Mana next turn. It's really important. As he definitely is running Harrowing in this deck. Find another sharp side, a third now. Bit unlucky. I'd rather find my battering ram. Fresh catch. Well, well, it was fresh. Pass. Does death follow me or peace? Oh no. Big attack incoming. And if I had still my my cataclysm, that would be awesome. Because I could play her into Cataclysm and rally this turn and kill him off potentially. Okay. <laughs> he just concedes here. Yeah. We're safe for now. We're safe for now. Yeah, we would have killed him off with the Genoveve next turn. There was really no ray on that. Okay, round two. The way with Diana is something. We saw as sort of a meta deck, I think. Um, I definitely want. To, I'm not sure if it's definitely <laughs> because this is a really fast deck. It's a problem, but still, I want to. I won't need to keep her. Ram is just too nice. Um, the bond could be neat, but for now, I want to have something else. Okay, so we get some definite value for our barrier next turn. So he threw away atrocity, which means he has another in hand. So really a valuable information. And uh, we will do this. He obviously doesn't want to develop anything I could away here. Or oh, he doesn't have anything. This could also be the case. Cataclysm is nice. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh. I could Cataclysm her. But is it worth it though? I would rather try and chop sight. If he is dumb enough to Knights kill the Pretz Predictor. Oh, no. He doesn't. Very unfortunate. But now we have the means to Pretz the Protector and Cataclysm and Sharp Sight. So I will do this first. Threaten a uh, yeah, mediocre strong attack. The promise of a new moon upon you, Bloom Tower. 
as we do this. Good luck here. And I think we should upside this. As, like I said, we get a proc for reputation. Preserve our protector here. Reflection begins. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Um, I could attack with this even to get another reputation proc, but I want to use make use of the barrier, so I will do this. He can't protect it with the tail casket anymore. Tapped out, but he probably will have another Diana in hand. Pretty sure about that. There's our Black Rose spy. Okay. Uh, what could he have here? I'm thinking about the zero mana challenger. You could kill Bella with it, but I still will develop Quinn, I think. Because Genoveve next turn would be just too strong. If he passes back here, this is too much value to give up. Please, no snake. Yes. And even though I really. Oh. Even though I would really love to go Battering Ram here, this is, uh, like, my bot is too huge to not go for this. This is so fucking much value. I tapped out completely. Like, he can now play with me, right? You know, I doesn't have any answers. Oh, um, do this. I think. No, do this. Oh, Bella dies in the process, but can have everything. As we go for this, and we'll see a pale cascade to save him. But I have him down to two, which is really important. And this challenger has only one health left. As we get reputation up to three or four. I think I want to wait for his whole attack. And develop the battering ram afterwards. I want to have it a bit of a surprise. Really ugly card. But I'm happy that he gets it so late. Hmm. Not cool. <laughs> Little sneaky guy. Yeah, but we definitely do this. Ooh. Yeah, the problem with this region combination is that he has hush. For my unyielding spirit. And that's a problem. But if I go white here and attack with everything, I think he should be dead. This is kind of risky, but I'm going for it. I can't level up my Quinn here, definitely, so no need to try. And now he hashes here, and we get a, a shot of him. That's really important. As we also removed almost the whole board. This thing is a problem though. Puts us on a clock. Just have to hope he doesn't have another hush in hand. And of course does he doesn't that he doesn't kill us next round, right? I have four mana left, so I can't play the Great Home Companion, unfortunately. And I want to not have him the lifesteal. So what I will do is play the Unyielding Spirit onto this and block the lifesteal unit. And just go with the Black Rose Spy here. Knowledge is wealth and I am rich. Hush, 
Okay, he only attacks with that. Which means I can get the battering ram off. Second one. Three from the Equinox. Man, I hate targeting so much. So, so much. He could still have a stun card in hand. So, I will just go for this. And hope for the best, I guess. I mean, to be fair, we can draw and check what we get. Okay. So I will attack with everything. <clears throat> That's not very, very smart. So it comes down to the question, does he have another hash? Ha! Better in one! It's one yielding spirit. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, an yielding spirit has multiple powers, as you could see there. And the fact that we baited out the Ash early there with the going wider on the board was the crucial play to win the smash, so I'm, I'm really happy to how I piloted this. Uh, let's go for round three. As we face the... <laughs> I really want my battering ram, dude. But I know that turn 6 is the turn where they go off. And this is the turn I want to start attack with this. Then 4 attack unit, right? Fuck it, I'm, I'm going for it. Also want to keep my Cataclysm. We find our first Katarina. Like for the... For, maybe for the newer players watching, never do this. Never... Never jettison at turn 1. This is something you always keep, as it is a burst speed spell, and you can bang spell mana. So this was a terrible play of him. Jettison can also be a surprise going deep card, um, if you play the deep archetype, so keep that in mind. It's completely fine, as we can play this. And now we see the glory of Cramp Plaza with Katarina. Let the bloodshed begin. Whoa! It's a heavy investment, and this is also what we have seen a combat for, by the way. To protect our Katarina from dying like this. Because now she strikes and gets leveled up and infected by hand. He doesn't get value off of the heal, so this looks very neat. Um, I want to keep the spell mana though. Blaze Edge doesn't do anything here. Dead Blue Monora, okay. Um, question is, do I Quinn or Grating Companion here? I think I rather want Quinn because I can Genoeve next round. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Or do I even? I know, dude. I think I want a battering ram. Also, the Great Tone Companion with Scout and Challenger. Oh, it's so tempting, dude. Ah, we need we need the battering ram. We need to start the playing pressure. Oh, yeah, another indirection I still forgot to mention. If you have the Grand Plaza out, this will also get two five attack for reputation. Um, no, we do this first. To kill this away. Proc the second attack for our Quinn level up. Okay. That's good value for us. They preserve more HP, but we get to remove this. And attack. Okay. Going good so far. We have Cataclysm and Golden Aegis. And they are... Yeah, they, with the Jettison they could go to deep now. But he can Nautilus into Jettison. This is very important. 
as we could even rally with Katarina here, which is, I think, is, uh, something I want to do. And we show the power of Veteran Ram. Or we just show the power of Cataclysm. Um, yep. Looks good. Even if he goes deep now, I'm protected from harm here. And we finish him off. Let the bloodshed begin. Let, the blood begin. <laughs> Let me do my level up. Quit level up, dude. We're safe. For We're now. Down. Okay, I think this was a third win in a row, right? So I think in normal you can re do really well with this deck. But also I drew good. Let's try to show off a Quinn level up. Oof, another meta deck. So things getting serious. Katarina could be neat here. Yeah, def definitely want to keep her as we attack on odds. And we have a sharp set to protect her, so this is definitely a keeper. As they will go for Avalanche to kill her off. They normally don't run any other removal besides... Uh, so like two damage removal. They have maybe double Vile Feast, but even this is what we can protect our Canaria from. Nothing escapes As I will go for the Feast for the Tracker here. Safeguard our homes. And now we bait the Avalanche. No going back. Or the box, even better. Yeah, so you can protect um, the Karina from multiple things, I guess. So shops had a really crucial addition here in this deck. Um, question is, do I want to two five face damage? I think I want, it. as they have a lot of board removal, and I don't want to give them value for that. Like AOE removal, right? We have the Katarina here. And now we can finally play Grizzle Ranger. We got the one proc for reputation. Let's mess some pulls up. And what I want to do now is this. Now he blocks. I play sharp side. Get another proc for reputation. Now you buy a feast and I Rangers resolve. Or not. Or he just takes the trade. The trolls are going to war. As we can attack a second time. Wild feast. Okay, five five damage. Really good. Having our reputation up. Almost. One more proc. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't mind that. As we go for the battering ram. <laughs> Next turn we can Katarina to multiple attack with the battering ram. Hmm. That's unfortunate. But now he can block with the trundle. Unless he wants him to die. Oof. This is very, very tough. I don't have the reputation going on, so it doesn't make sense to play the Black Rose Spy, right? Um. Hmm. Thing is, he don't has re Reunation mana. Even though I would love to attack multiple times with the Battering Ram, I think it's better to go with the Quinn. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Probably see an AoE effect here. A wider board is just more threatening, right? So he has to do something about it. This is the third entreat he played, right? Yeah, also he didn't have mana for the uh, Ice Quake. It's also really important. Um, I think I want to only take once here to get more damage in. Yeah, looks good. I don't kill off the Trundle, but it's not too important. I get to preserve my units here. Getting it down to two is really crucial, as we have a rally effect next turn. No! And we also have an overwhelm unit on the board. Ba, ba, ba. 
I think this was a, was a withering wheel. Oof. But yet again, no mana for both of that. I think I want to be left with, be left with this, just to not let him have the the possibility to pass over an issue or to end the round. I would really love to show the synergy here, but uh, it's not possible. Is that enough? I am Iceborne. Okay, now he threatens me with... Oh no, he can't. He doesn't have the board space. Never mind. I thought he could go for the 8 mana card into Watcher. But he can't. So I can just chill here. Okay. Am I okay with this? I could have a vengeance. Uh, fuck it, I'm trying. Oh no, I don't need to. Never mind, I do this. And now if he wants to remove it another another way, I can go for an yielding spirit. I think this is a vengeance. So even short of the power of Ranger's Resolve, I'm really, really happy that I can <laughs> show a lot of things here. Uh, okay, this is really annoying. Not gonna lie. I'm going to turn to four here. But I forced out the removal. It's really important. And now I can really. Let the bloodshed begin. As we can go for Quinn. Double attack into the ice pillar here. And then we have a really wide attack. The freeze. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Still heart, steady aim. Um, with this. Zero attack against zero attack. Um, I could do this. I only do this. Do I? I mean, I could even just do this here. Preserve my uh, Katarina on the board. I think this is more threatening. Because the way how he loses is the white board. As I can open attack with a Quinn. Get off my attack here. Um... I could even do this. That looks good. Justice, Justice takes white! This does nothing. As we have this down to one. It's really important. Ice shard. Huh. Unfortunately, he's removing his own ice pillar. But now he has a blocker less. And I can go for this. Go wider on my board. So he needs another answer here. Yep. If he has a third ice shard, I'm in a big pick <laughs> because I'm dead then. Um, thing is, I can't unyielding spirit into something else here. But what else could he have? Could have an avalanche, right? Yeah, fuck it. We go for this. He just needs a freeze. But it could be the better line of play. Yeah, I don't know, man. Because if, if he has an avalanche, I'm fucked. This is so hard. Question is what I'm playing around here. 
as I... Yeah, we'll, we'll just play this. If he has an avalanche, he has an avalanche. <laughs> really, dude? You really has three fucking ice shards in hand. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so, so stupid. Yeah, okay. You saw that being ridiculous. Demacia does not forget, and neither do I. Yeah. Me neither. I don't forget the stupidity. <laughs> but as we always need to show also uh, loss, this is a, a good way to end the video. I think I sh showed off a lot of things. We didn't show off the Mimic and Golden Aegis, but you know how, what, how that works, right? We didn't do into one Whisper Rats, I think. I think only, only one in one game. But this is mainly our refuel tool, and it was pretty reliable at that. Um, but the rest of the deck is uh, a lot of fun, definitely. Bettering Ram with Yielding Spirit. Try it out yourselves. Let me know what you think of it, uh, if you would make any tweaks in this deck. And other than that, go with Stomp him. And I will leave it at that. Thank you very, guys, very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next, uh, I guess, reaction video. Until then, stay legendary. Let out.